Hello friends, welcome back to CAD practice. Today we are going to construct a complex 3D model in Autodesk Unita software. So let's get started. Go to new, take a standard part in millimeter and go to create. Now take a 2D sketch, select the XY plane, take the line command and here we will draw the rough sketch first. Okay, okay a straight line here and this will be the merging profile till here one here and till here and this will be the last joining profile now escape now here take the parallel constraint select this line and this line okay and here go to line command select this point and make a center line escape select this line make it a center line okay now go to horizontal constraint, select this base point and select this point. Now go to dimension, define here this dia as 11, the next dia here will be of 15 mm, the dimension of this will be 2 and here also the dimension will be maintained. Now this dimension here will be 4 ok now we will define the diameters now the next diameter till 15 which we have defined now this will pick and the center line this will be at 23 dia ok now the next dia will be from this inner point select the center line this will be dia 44 and the last from the center line will be at 55 dia ok now select this top and select this base point this height here will be of 35 ok and this dimension here will be of 4 now escape now we will align all the dimensions so as you can pick all the dimensions properly so I'll line this downwards, okay, and this till here, and this will be till outer. This will be here. These dimensions are properly defined, okay. So this is the final sketching dimensions, okay. Now finish sketch, and here take revolve. So it will automatically revolve around the center axis. Now press OK. Now select this face, go to create sketch, rotate the profile, take the circle command from the center point, make here a circle of diameter 50 and here make a diameter 2.5. Okay. Now take a horizontal constraint, select this base point, select this point escape select this circle make it a construction unit now take circular pattern select this circle go to axis and select this as axis of rotation take here a count of 12 and 360 degree press ok now go to 3d model take extrude select complete profiles flip the direction to cut so this will be a through cut now press ok now go to part 1 here you can see we have this profile so to make this profile go to part 4 here go to origin and select the xy plane go to create sketch and here go to view visual style change it to wireframe now go to sketch again take the line command from the center point click one line here in one line here escape go to project geometry project this line and project this escape now go to dimension define this height here as 12 mm okay now go to point define a point here escape go to dimension select this point and select this line so the dimension here will be of 
0.75 and this line from here will be at a distance of 2 mm and escape okay select this yellow lines and make them construction geometry okay so this will be the final profile you can see the fully constrained sketch finish sketch now with the help of this sketch we are going to make a new plane go to plane select this starting point of this line and select this line okay now go to view visual style change it to shade with the edges now go to sketch and here select this plane go to create sketch now the use of the previous sketch will be you will find a center point here go to project geometry and project this point okay so you will find a center point here now finish sketch select sketch 3 and turn off the visibility okay now double click sketch 5 take the circle command from the center point we are going to make a circle okay first now from the center point second circle and from the center point the third circle okay now go to dimension define this diameter as 20 the next diameter here will be of 18 and the third diameter here will be of 14 now escape select the outermost dia 20 dia and make it a construction geometry okay now here take the circle command and make two circles on dia 20 first here of dia 6 and from this same center point a dia 2.5 okay similarly here also one circle dia 6 and the other circle of dia 2.5 skip okay now here take the horizontal constraint select the center point okay here we will take vertical constraint select the vertical constraint select the center point and select the center point select, select this center point and this center point okay now here select trim trim this profile trim this profile okay similarly trim this profile and trim this profile trim this this and this trim this this and this okay now go to fillet and here take a fillet of four select this edge and select this uh, select this and select this profile select this profile and select this select this profile and select this now escape go to dimension again select this as this was 18 mm so this will be a radius of 9 ok show dimensions or just click here go to this circle and here also will define 9 as radius now you can see here fully constrained sketch ok now these are the dimensions you can note them escape now finish sketch take 3d model take extrude select this profile so it is going outside go to front view you can see it is going outside ok so we will flip the direction go to home here we will take join and from here we will change it to, to next so this profile will only will remain till this phase now press ok here you can see it is not inserting inside this profile it is outside ok so no impact will be done inside now select this face now go to create sketch select this circle project geometry go to 3d model take extrude flip the direction this time we are going to take cut ok you can see here a cut profile has been created now press ok go to home now select this plane right click turn off the visibility now we want same profile the other side as well go to mirror here will be mirror 
is x root 2 and x root 3. Go to mirror plane and select the middle plane, the yz plane, rotate, select this edge and press OK. Okay. So the same profile has been created this side as well. Go to home. Now we'll define the appearance from here. We'll take chrome polished or any other if you want. So this was a basic tutorial to how to construct complex models in Autodesk Unity software. I hope you like the video. If you do that, please do hit like and subscribe the channel for more such videos. Thank you.